Good afternoon, traders, and welcome to another edition of AwesomeCallsTrading.com. I uh, just want to thank you for joining us on this Friday afternoon. It's almost noon on uh, the end of the month, last day of trading for the month of June. Can you believe it? We're already going into July. It'll be July 4th next week. We'll have a day or two off, which will be nice to kind of relax and get our minds uh, set. And um, I live in California, so I pray we don't do too many fireworks only because it's pretty dry out here at times. Um, so we don't want that. Um, but uh, I'm sure we'll have uh, a wonderful time. Um, outside of that, I just want to take a moment and just, you know, you um, every day I do these uh, webinars and I do them for you, whether you're in the chat room, outside the chat room. And I get a lot of subscribers uh, coming to the channel and then just joining the room because they're like looking for that that guy, that, that room to get do these magical things. And, um, you know, we're, we're just, we're day traders. We, um, this is my YouTube channel. And, uh, and um, you know, this is every day I post just a recap of what we do in here. I average about 100, 150 views. Uh, obviously, the this one I did here has got about 300 views. Um, but, you know, it's all about, it's, it's, for me, it's, it's just pure education. And, you know, um, it's just really trying to help you. You know, there's there's so many chat rooms out there, and such a diversity of different types of traders, as we all know. I mean, you've got, um, you know, uh, you know, the small cap rooms, the mid, you know, the the option rooms, the bio rooms, the IPO rooms. Uh, you have the short seller rooms. I mean, we can go down a list, and everyone kind of. And then you have the ETF rooms that only trade ESF, spies, QQQ, TVIX. Then you have the gold rooms. Then you have the forex rooms. <laughs> you know, it seems like in our in our world in the United States, anything with paper, <laughs> anything electronic. I mean, you have Bitcoin rooms uh, telling you what Bitcoin's going to do and not do, and then they're ninety nine percent wrong. Um, you know, um, but when it comes to day trading, uh, you know, what really defines a day trader? What is what is a day trader? A day trader is. Um, a person or individual that uh, makes money predicting or trading the movement of a stock uh, in, the, in the in the stock market. So whether that market, whether the stock goes up or which is a long, or the stock is coming down, which is a short. In option world, a long is a call, and a short is a put. So the stock market provides. Thousands and thousands and thousands and thousands of stock trading ideas. I mean, from app, trading Apple and uh, EA and Boeing to small cap to bios to pump and dumps to penny stocks. The market is a variety of thousands and thousands of opportunities. And that's how you have to look as a day trader what the stock market is. The stock market is a pure opportunity. It's an, And in order for you to evolve in that opportunity, and to make money, you have to learn how to trade. Now, again, we go back to all these other rooms that do, you know, this segment does this, and this segment does that, and this room does this. And if they don't, and what's interesting, if these rooms don't have what they're looking for, then you don't get to trade for that day, or your trade is limited because the owners of the room limit your ability to trade the market because that's they just want to specialize in that. You know, and then, you know, what, what what sets apart Awesome Calls is not just the variety, and I'm talking uh, a $4 stock, a $2 stock, a $7 stock, 10 20 30 40 60 80 100 200 300 400 500 right? You could trade anything, but it's just not that, but you could trade, uh, whether you're trading equity or options, you could trade... Uh, BIOS, IPOs, you can short the stocks, earnings, um, analyst calls, uh, newspaper stuff that's a uh, Barron's, you know. We traded a Barron's trade today. 
and and you never these are things that you will never hear about unless you listen to the webinars daily or you're part of our great room and then on top of trading with me let's just say uh, we have nine other uh, I think ten other moderators in here I mean we have fire trader uh, who is just and, and I'll kind of bring up the list here so you can kind of see uh, it's just not me in here I mean we all trade together we're a family right and we trade IPOs we trade everything and um, and in our family we have a, a group and every night I, I always say thank you to my group because you know I'm a trader I want I I yes I have my own ideas my own thoughts but when you trade with pros really proven prevention pro, uh, professional day traders they only make you better and the people that I'm around in my world they're leaders each and every one of them are pure leaders been in the business a while very humbling very giving paying it forward every one of these individuals wants to help you succeed they don't come in here just for themselves they come in here to help you to make money and they trade themselves they're full-time traders other than Palmer um, but they they this is their livelihood just like it's mine all right and we all trade together and my hope one day is for every person to walk in this chat room and be a moderator I mean who wouldn't where we can all just see your your ideas your entries your exits what you're taking why you're taking it and but in, in our room it, it takes a lot to be a mod you have to be consistent you have to be proven you have to you have to show me your talent on a daily basis not just a one hit and miss oh that was a good call and that's it no it doesn't work that way and how do you inter inter interact how do you help people that are struggling not everyone's going to love me so to speak and not everyone's going to understand me, you know, because I am a fast trader when it comes to executing in and out. I'm a market order kind of guy. I don't sit in limit orders. You know, I just execute. I'm done. I move on, right? I don't care if I make 30, 40, 50, 60, 100, 200, 300 on the trade. I don't care. I see the move. I'm in. I'm out. If I make 500 bucks, I'm in and out. Thank you. And I will do that six, seven, eight times during the day, you know. And at the end of the day, my goal is always to make, you know. Anywhere from a you know 800 to 1500 a day. Do I want to hit home runs if they warrant it? But I'm not I'm not that kind of trader. I'm not here to to bet the farm and bet the house on one trade. I mean, it's just not how I operate. It's not who I am. I, you know, I last in this business. Think about it. I've been around for 16 years. You know, I've done enough losing the first eight or ten. I'm not losing no more. <laughs> you know, and when I do take a loss. I learn from each time I get I improve I mean I said that statement last night that Rome is not built in a day either is day trading all you can do is learn in daily lessons to improve who you are at, at a skill level you know to get better and better and the better you get the more money you make because then it becomes you're a part of that you know for me I live and breathe the stock market that's it I live and breathe it I understand it I actually over understand it I think I can actually predict what the Fed's gonna say before he starts talking I mean that's that's what I've become I mean I anticipate moves and I get paid on that and I share my thoughts and my notes and the entries and the exits with every trader that walks in this room so everyone has the same opportunity to make money I have professional day traders that come in here that make a living that's all they do they just come in here they look at my notes they take a call I had a guy uh, that was a mod in another room came in here this morning he took stars short 2,000 shares in his account okay and he made I think uh, I think it was 11,000 he made and then he took 5,000 shares short on PRGS another call of mine he was done in about I think an hour and he made about nineteen thousand. And he was done. He's just, that's it. No, with his family now. I mean, he was done in an hour. He's a professional day trader, and he and he pays just like all everyone else. Buck ninety seven. You know, six bucks a day. Just tell me the trade. What are you looking at? Because why? Because he considers AJ a professional day trader at a different level. So I've earned his respect, and today I earned it again. And he'll be back here on Monday. 
okay? And everyone has that same opportunity. That's the thing I'm trying to get at. Every time I produce a list of trades, I give each everybody the same opportunity. And one of the things that you hear in these great webinars that are put out by great individuals that trade with me, such as Alex and Mark and, and Palmer and F even Fire and um, uh, just a few more, uh, Ali, is that their, their perception is, you know, it's like they can also see the move, but hearing that voice, that coach, that professor, that, that, that guy in charge with authoritative saying, this is going to do this, that's all they need to hear. That confidence, it's like that extra voice that they needed to hear. Because you know what? When we day trade, there's nobody around us. There's nobody coaching us. That's what a room environment should be. You know, a place where you can come in and just kind of be coached when you get in a trade. Hey, let me double check to make sure I'm doing it the right way. AJ, would you take this long? Yeah, I would. I'd add here, add here. Oh, I'm going to take this trade. Listen, click, boom. You hear it go through. You see it on the tape. Okay, I'm in it. And all of a sudden, the stock drops 80 cents. And you're like, are you still in it? Absolutely. I'll let you know when I get out. I don't hide if I lose. I mean, it's not the way I roll. Today, I was down on Zoom $689. Because I got in too soon. But you know what? I ended up with about mm, 100, 100 bucks on the trade. I was patient and I added and I added. Wasn't my best trade, but I didn't allow it to get me either. But what I love when I walk in the room is the group that I trade with. I mean, Jenny Moore, great short seller, one of the most talented. Been in the room six years. He's like my brother. He's like family. You know, and he lives in Greece. He's in Italy, right? I got Raphael. He was, a, he was a bio trader, came in the room five years ago, five and a half years ago. To this day, he's still here. Provides ideas, trades full-time, lives in Miami. Dark side, has been here two, two, two plus years. You know, it's it's a privilege to trade with him. He had his own, uh, had his own uh, you know, uh, Discord room. He had his own following. He's a professional day trader, makes a shit ton of money, trades options, trades equity. Great teacher, great leader. Look at him. Where is he? He's here by choice, right? Then you have the great fire. Fire, about less than a year ago, I just I started seeing his talent. I mean, this man thinks like me. I mean, I know if I go on vacation, fire and dark side can run the room. There's no doubt between the three of them, but they can run the room. You know, they think like me. They know where I'm looking at, how to how to look at the stock. I love it. B trades is small cap. He's a full time police officer. And in between his shifts, he comes in here and he gives the most talented small cap stocks to the chat room. It's just amazing. Dave the trader, he's a news guy. You know, we take his alerts. He's a trader. He's been here, I think Dave's been here four and a half, five years. Right? And he just gives us these quick alerts that we react to and we can make money on. And then you have Palmer who pays it forward. Full time job, part timer, makes three hundred bucks a day, three hundred to five hundred every single day. Right? We just promoted Adam News, who's also like Dave the Trader, gives us these great alerts as they come in. And we just promoted two more people. Now we have an IPO world. I trade IPOs. I love IPOs. But now I have two individuals that have come in here in the last month, two months, that have just blown up and have really provided us some really great IPO opportunities. And I think it's time to release them to all the people in the chat room. So as we grow... You know, and for me, I'm making money on each of these individuals. I'm watching their calls, their ideas. You know, this morning I watched Fire take uh, uh, stars at 195 or 195.50 and walk it up to 198, 199. I mean, I love that. I follow that trade because he's a money making trader, so I'm going to follow him. You know, and even if he doesn't, a trade doesn't go well. Oh well, that's the part of the business. Just limit your risk, cut if it doesn't work, move on, stick to your rules. So every day, you know, it's a privilege to trade with these people, but it's also when you join the room, it's not just AJ. It's not just AJ. You need to all remember that. We all trade as a group. And as you grow and get bigger and better, hey, you'll be a mod too. You know, I have traders in here that have been here two years, three years, still not mods yet. Because all they want to do is just make the money. You know, they just, they love making money. They'll come in here, make three, four hundred dollars, and they're gone. 
Thank you, AJ. Thank you, AJ. And, you know, we just have a wealth of talent in here. And this morning when I got up, I just, like I always do, I put together a game plan. You know, and now what's interesting is everyone out there has a plan. Nobody had plans before until I started making them. Nobody had plans. It would just, they give you tickers in the morning. This is what I'm looking at. Okay. And I came from a room like that. And there's still rooms that do it. They'll just do a, these are the sticker, they, this is the tickers I'm looking at. Okay. Why? I don't have time to explain. <laughs> Imagine that for seven years watching a guy come in and every morning he'd have a list, but he would never, he just, he just type out seven different tickers. But why? Why, why is this one you pick this one? And they don't tell you. And then when it moves, they want the credit. Oh, I told you. But you didn't tell me anything. Yeah, but it was on my list. But you didn't tell me anything, dude. Yeah, and I get credit. You know, shut the fuck up. I get credit. Let me go on Twitter. Hey, see that move? I got it. But you didn't tell me anything. You know? I have no fucking idea why that stock even moved to begin with. You just put in a ticker watch. Tell me. So when I opened up Awesome Calls, I said to myself, before I take any trade or any idea, I want the person to know, I want the trader to know why. And now everyone out there wants to always tell you the why behind the move. Isn't that funny? Where were you before? <laughs> but in Awesome Calls, you get that every day. But you get a variety of different stocks, many different price ranges, and you get to trade the world. You literally get to trade the world. You get to trade analysts, IPOs, uh, upgrades, downgrades, news events, PR. I mean, I'm going to run you just real quick. Five or six trades. Okay. All right. I'm going to just go through these. CDMO, simple call. Probably the price target at Janny. Has a $10 price target. That tells me the stock's worth $5.50 a six. That's it. End of story. What's the stock sitting at? Uh, $4.50. Great. I'm going to buy it long, add on dips, have an average, boom, go to $5.56. I'm done with the trade. Simple. Simple. Anybody outside this chat room, inside this chat room, could have took 500 shares and just fucking did what I said. All you had to do was buy it. That's it. Market order, stock pulls at the open, market order, boom, add, add on the dip, have a four and a quarter, 430 average, and you're a hero. You want to see the stock? I mean, it, 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 this is a no-brainer. Anybody in the world could have came in here, took that call. Right? So, I'm a professional day trader. I mean, you could have took 10,000 shares and made 10 grand today. Do you know that? Yeah, instead of fucking around with these 20 cent moves, I don't fuck around. Look, it's gapping up. There's the four level, right? It's gapping up here. I didn't say buy it there. I said buy it here. At the 460 level, it's pre market notes. Add on dips to four, have a 435 average, and let it rip to 556. There it is. Next. How long did that take? Oh, geez, I could have, you could have made 10 grand in 45 minutes of work. How hard was that? Right? Here's another one. You ready? EA. EA. Why is it up? Gapping up. Why is it up? Right? I did their legwork, found out that they're uh, Barron's in an article. How do I know? I go to my scan. Right? EA. Punch it up. There it is. Barron's in an article. A positive article this morning. Right? So there is the article. Right? How do you trade it? Oh, simple. You feel the gap because it's a Barron's article. It's not. It's it's not anything to me that is going to blow up the world, right? So to me, I just simply wanted to gap fill it, and I called ninety nine fifty bottom crew, go along back to highs. How hard was that? You're going to trade options, contracts, puts, calls, trade equity, whatever you want. That's a four point trade. Two down, two up. Next, let's do another one. PRGS, this is an earnings play. You see the variety of trades we're doing? Analyst call, earnings call, right? Article, now here's an earnings play, okay? This stock is sitting close at 40. The fucker's sitting at 48. Why? Why? Did you have seller earnings? Did you have blowout quarter? Huh, did you? Did you or did you not? Because you better have a blowout quarter, right? Because if you have a blowout quarter, 
uh, I won't short your stock. So I'm a professional day trader. This is what I do for a living. Okay. So I call. Let me show you what happened. Let me just tell you real quick. And I'm going to show it to you how I read the report because you don't read reports, right? You pay me to read the reports. So I'm going to show you how I read it, right? And I want you to look at this report and ask yourself, is there anything that says why this thing should be at $48? Let's go to the report, right? PRGS. Look. Scroll down. Here's the report. Right. Okay, now look at it. I don't see no upside guidance. I see eight cents better. Company issue guidance for Q3, 68 cents versus 66. That's two cents. Company sees, sees fiscal 19 EPS at 252 versus 251. What? It sees that we're going to make income of 422 versus four to 428 and it's 423 <laughs> you see this you know what that stock is that's a 43 dollar stock how do i know that that's the value it should be nothing more what do i do prgs gapping up 47 start short now i'm even yelling at you i'm yelling at you i'm not telling I'm, I'm yelling at you short the stock if it pops to 49, laugh. It's Christmas. Where's it going? 43. When it snaps 46.80, it's 43. Okay? You want to see a pro? There it is. 47. I begged you to take the stock. I begged you. I told you what was going to happen. I said when it snaps 46.80, all right, it's gone. The stock's going to 43. It already hit 44. I see this hours before the market even opens. I saw this yesterday when it popped. It took me 20 seconds. $43 stock. Next. It's not magic. It's not magic. It's pure professional understanding of an earnings report and how to read through it. Now, this stock might bore you because you're maybe an amateur. Or you like trading two dollar stocks, or you're bitching and complaining your account's five hundred or a thousand, so you don't you can't trade that. You're looking for zillions of fucking excuses why you don't want to trade it. And you probably won't make it in our room. You probably just end up going back to hike in the woods, right? But in here, the professional day traders that we're creating will take that fucking share, three hundred shares short, and let it sit all day and make twelve hundred dollars for the day. Did you make twelve hundred dollars for the day? Huh? Where you're at now? On a stock that was told where it was going to go before it went there? This was written down on a, on my little notes an hour and a half before the market even opened. By the time I wrote it down, it was 30 minutes before the bell. And you can clearly see I'm going to 43. All right? You want another one? Stars. Oh, that's too expensive. Hey, that's why they have options. Stocks sitting at 204. Stars. Look at this. Pull up a five day chart. What do you see? What is this? These are bag holders holding at 160, 183, 181. What do you think they're going to do when they see a $200 stock on stars? What do you think they're going to do? Oh, uh, I think it'll go to 220. I think I won't sell it. Oh, come on. Think. Think. You're not thinking. All right. So, I got to go read the report. So what do I do? I come up, I get up in the morning, I go over, I read the report. Here's the report. You don't read the report because you're afraid of the stock because it's over. It's a $200 stock. I don't want to do that. I go to stars, pull it down. I start reading it. There it is. 15 cents better. I'm sorry, you're 15 cents better and your market cap is what? 300, 200 million more? Uh, I have a problem. You raise guidance. Look how they raise the guidance. We were 850 to 880, but we're raising it to 865 to 895. What's that problem? And it says here versus 857. It you, you're confusing me. It tells me you're only up 10 cents more on your consensus. 
Within 10 seconds, $195 stock. Next, 10 seconds, $195. Bucks. Bottom curl, go long. You want to see it? Think I'm fucking kidding? This is a 195 stock, short it. If it pops at the open, add to it. This is a 195 stock. Higher it goes, it's Christmas. This is a $195 stock. I can't be any more fucking clear for you. So buy 195 puts and be quiet. Buy those contracts for a dime, sell them for a buck. Don't make excuses. Here it is. 195. From 203. That's an eight point pull. Found a base. The great fire comes in, takes it long at 195, slams it to 198. Right? Came down even more. Who cares? Even if you bought 195, add it 193, you have a 194. Now it's 198. You can't lose on the trade. You cannot lose on the trade. You can't. There's no way you can fuck up that trade. You would literally have to want to do everything opposite and get shaken out for no reason. But initially, the call was right on point. 195. Every single day you're in this chat room, not only will I write this all for you every day, Five days a week, I will put together a comprehensive analyst list of what all these stocks are going to do before they do it. You can come in, sit with me, trade with me, trade alongside me, and allow me to educate you on each and every idea. And I'm telling you, you do this for a few months, a solid six months, and some of you a year. You'll become one of the most phenomenal traders making a living because you will know how to trade the market. Remember that. That is what Awesome Calls is all about. To educate you to be a real leader, to become a teacher. Because you imagine the conversations you're going to have with your friends and relatives in six months or a year. Hey, what do you do for a living? Oh, uh, you know, I trade stocks. Oh, isn't that hard? No, not at all. Once you understand it and you learn the background of each of the stocks and the companies, you understand how to read reports, it's, it's actually fun. And do you realize when somebody asks you, what do you do for a living? You know, when somebody asks me what I do for a living, my face lights up. All right? Right now, some of you trade worse shit. Some of you trade fucking crazy. You want to do everything opposite. You're always red. That's because you're stuck in this negative zone of yours. But when you come in here, I will every day get you. Hey, go along here. Hey, start here. And all it's going to take is three, four, five, six, seven good trades underneath your belt, and you're going to become phenomenal. You're going to start to feel the magic of what the stock market can do for you, what this room can do for you. Okay? So that's today's webinar. I hope you enjoyed it. It's 12 o'clock on a Friday afternoon. Now I'm going to get the fuck out of here. I'm going to go hike. I'm going to swim. I'm going to go on a date. I'm going to have a blast tonight. All right? I'm not going to think about stocks, what the chart's going to do. Uh-uh. I've done enough of that five days a week. I sleep four hours a night. I've done enough. Now it's my time. That's why I don't tweet on Saturday. <laughs> I'm just like, leave me alone. And then Sunday I go right in it. But I want to thank you for giving me an opportunity to talk to you. We currently are in a swing position, or at least I am. I have long this stock. I will let you know before I close out. Um, HCM. I am long at 22.10 average. I already made good money on it this morning. Uh, buying it here. Uh, I bought it. This is how I traded it. I bought it here. Added here. Sold it here. Kept some. And added here, and now I have an average, and I'm looking for 23 to 24. That's all I want to fill. So, anyway, pretty cool, huh? And I, would, I do want to share one last stock before I go, ABBV. Again, I told you when it was at $66, buy the stock. Buy the stock. <laughs> buy the stock. They bought AGN, okay? The sell-off is overdone. The stock will ramp back, back to 70, fill this gap. Now it's filling this gap. It hit 72 this morning. 
Just a beautiful swing idea. Understanding why, spelling it out, giving traders opportunities. As an option trader, you could have bought 70, $75 calls and made a fortune on that. I think the stock will settle now around 74. Really a nice trade. Okay, and that's it. So we're swinging, I'm gonna swing HCM for a few days or a day, unless it comes up to 2350 or 24. Okay, and that's it. So thank you. I look forward to, have a great weekend, and I look forward to trading with you on Monday. If you wanna be a member, just click here. It goes magically into our website, and all you do is click, and you're a part of the chat room. All right, thank you. Take care, bye-bye.